family and friends, welcome back. If you're new, my name is Maricela and I wanna welcome you. I'm glad you're here. Today, I'm gonna make capirotada. This is a, a bread pudding that is usually celebrated for Easter, for La Pascua, and it's a very delicious uh, bread pudding made with spices, raisins, cinnamon, very good. Let's get started. For my ingredients, I'm using half a cup of peanuts, four cloves, half a cup of prunes, one plantain, half a cup of raisins, I have a cup of cotija grated cheese, a can of evaporated milk, three cinnamon sticks, one can of the lechera, that's the sweetened condensed, I have four corn tortillas, I have butter, oil, and I am using this uh, French bread, but you can, uh, there's this one I'm gonna toast it myself, or you can buy it already pre-made, whichever you prefer. I'm gonna start with two cups of water, and I also have here two cups of milk. I also have two of the cane sugars, piloncillo. And these are the ingredients that we're gonna be using. I'm gonna start by cutting my bread. You always see me use this knife. It's my forever sharp knife. And if anybody owns one, you know why I use it all the time. It's old. I had it like for, I would say like 17 years and I wouldn't change it for nothing unless I get a new one. But this is my favorite knife. It's still sharp. It's true what they say, forever sharp. Before I toast it, I wanna put a little bit of butter. Still gonna use oil, but just a little bit of butter to give it that beautiful flavor. Okay. I'm gonna do all of them like that. A little bit of butter. In my pan, I'm gonna start by heating up some water. Gonna add the four cloves, three cinnamon sticks. Now I'm adding the piloncillos. I'm gonna let the sugar canes melt with the cinnamon and the cloves. And if I feel like it needs a little bit more water, I'm going to add a, just a little bit more. My pan that I already had heat up, I'm just going to add a little bit of oil. Just a little bit of oil because the bread already has butter. And I am going to start toasting it. You could put it in the oven and toast it like that, but I'm going to do it like this because this is the way we grew up doing it and this is the way it feels like we're making capirotada. I'm going to add a little bit more of oil and I'm going to do the store-bought ones. I'm going to see the difference. I'm down to my last batch. And I'm going to get started with the plantain. Here's 
gonna cut it. Going to add a little bit more oil and I'm just gonna fry the plantains. And I'm gonna do the same to the tortillas. Okay, the plantains are done. I'm gonna take them out already. And also the tortillas. I don't want them to turn into tostadas. I just want them to be soft, but not a little bit toasty, but not that much. Just like that. Our cinnamon's been patiently waiting for us. I'm gonna start by adding the milks. My syrup is ready. Have everything ready to assemble my capirutada. You know, I also have my baking pan and I have some butter and I'm just gonna spread it. I'm gonna start to assemble the capirutada and I'm gonna start by adding first the tortillas, just putting them wherever you can on the bottom and then I start stacking the bread pieces. However you can fit them. I add a bit of cheese. Just random. And I start putting the raisins, some of the peanuts, the plantains, and the prunes. Then I start giving them a soak. Adding some of this milk goodness. Continue with the second layers and this is the other pieces of the ones that were in the bag that are already toasted, pre-toasted. the peanuts, plantains, prunes, nah, there's only three pieces left, so I'm just gonna start adding the cheese. My pan was a little bit too small for this. Okay. 
This is how you do it in the stove top. Okay, we're doing it in the oven. Adding the rest of the cheese. Adding the rest of the syrup. Add our cinnamon sticks, all of it. All of that is gonna soak in there and then it's gonna dry up a little bit more. And I'm just going to put a little piece, you don't have to cover it, just a little piece of foil, just like that. And just leave it in the oven like uh, 30 minutes or start checking after uh, 15 minutes, start checking it. And um, just until you see that it's already start to bubble up a little bit and it starts to cream up. Now I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees. So I'm gonna set it 30 minutes. And carefully, I am going to put it in with another sheet pan so if it bubbles over, you have something that will mess up your oven. Okay, we'll check soon to see how it's done. Five more minutes left. I'm gonna take the foil out. You need to look really beautiful. And it smells wonderful. Mm. So here's the capirotada. Still needs to soak a little bit more, but the more it rests, it's gonna continue to soak. And even the next day is gonna be more amazing when it starts to cool down. I compare the French bread to the pre-toasted and I find that the French bread is mm. more softer and the pre-toasted needs more liquids. Mine is just ready to eat. Just wonderful. Well, family and friends, the capirutado is done. And it turned out wonderful. Mm. Just like I always remember it. very good try it it's very easy to make the ingredients you find them anywhere it's your preference of bread you can make it in the stove you can make it in the oven it's delicious anyways you're gonna like it if you haven't never tried capirotada before this is bread pudding mexican bread pudding
Thanks for watching. See you next time. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Give me a like. And I really appreciate everybody that already has subscribed. God bless you. Everybody have a wonderful, blessed, amazing Passover, Easter, whatever you celebrate. Just remember why we celebrate Capirotada, a bread pudding. The main reason, Jesus is alive and he is risen. He is powerful and he is the Messiah. Bye.